we've got one last snip review from a candy box to doom and that would be our brass hunt nib let me pull it out and, whoa if i lose it then i can't use it so we've got a oh my gosh you're so tiny i can't read you a hunt one oh one oh what oh what what 106 105 i really can't read that um and i know a lot of people who use dip pants are way older than me i think it might be a 108 and i know their eyesight's even worse so it's like oh i should have kept better track of these and if i'm wrong i'll have to let you guys know in the description of course so did you guys know that a lot of days when i start recording these chirpy nib videos i'm actually having like a really crummy day and i'm in a really bad mood and talking to you guys puts me in a little bit of a better mind space makes me feel a little bit better what you are so too flexible ugh gross oh no eight I was not expecting that from a crow. I guess brass is super soft or something. Have to look that up, have to science that. Oh man, I hate these. Sorry, I do because they are hard to get started and they're hard to control and they are super prone to breaking. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, I was in a nice chillax mood. I had just recorded the Hunt 107 video. I was like, this is gonna, I mean, I had started out in kind of a crummy mood, but talking to you guys made me feel better. And then I get this nib that's gonna be a booty butt. That's why we do these nib reviews, right? Like, I bet somebody is watching this and they're like, oh my gosh, I love that nib. So, like, cheers to you, man. I hope you enjoy it. I'm glad to help you find a nib that works for you. I am really heavy-handed. My hand is very prone to shaking. So I think after all this nib experimentation, I really need stiffer nibs. These super soft and flexible nibs, while they are really great for giving you nice intense line weight and i think i've gotten this one kind of broken in so it wants to work a little bit better now for me they're really hard to control so other than these nib reviews i don't think i'll be using them too much but i learned a thing and if i hadn't done all these nib reviews i wouldn't have learned a thing And learning a thing is always valuable, even if the end result looks really poopy and you don't want to show it to anybody because it's not good work. And believe me, when we're reviewing art supplies, you end up making a lot of really poopy work. And maybe you don't, but I do. I make a lot of really poopy work. But to me, that's part of it. Because I also end up finding tools that I didn't realize were so great for me. Or I discover ways of working I never would have, I never would have tried. So, poopy work that I can't show anybody and it can't go in my portfolio because it looks terrible and people judge me as like a crummy artist because I create all this poopy work but I learned a lot I don't know I wouldn't say that's really like a great trade-off so this is a super dupe flexible nib and I got it in a drawing oh come on this is going to be super prone to spraying its tines. And I'm having a really hard time controlling it. But I got it in a drawing nib set. Same set I got the 107, which I actually kind of liked. Now, 
this could be a great nib for doing something sort of more gestural, more expressive, kind of angry. The sort of thing I would use a brush for, but hey, maybe you don't want to use a brush. Maybe you have reasons for using a nib. Maybe you only use a nib. Maybe you're really bad with brushes. Maybe you can't afford a brush and you've got a lot of nibs right now. So nibs are what you're gonna use. There's like a million legit reasons why you wouldn't wanna use a brush. I get that. So this could be a good replacement for that. I'm having a heck of a time talking and controlling and I'm sorry. Good thing I drew ang uh, Kara all angry though, because all the bad line art and lack of control kind of works in favor. For these ink tests, I just try to draw her with different expressions. And I always go with Kara because I don't want to spend, I don't really, I really don't want to spend like 30 minutes prepping for a nib review. I just don't like my time could be spent on other things. So if you're tired of seeing Kara, I apologize. I have loads of other videos where I draw loads of other things. But for these little nib reviews, she's fine. Okay, so this sucker puts down a lot, a lot of ink. And uh, I kind of have inked myself into a corner where all her features are in the middle of her face and it's surrounded by like a lake of ink. And I don't have a bridge. I don't have a bridge to cross, to cross this lake of ink. Come on. Careful. Careful. Also, putting down this much ink, even acrylic ink, which is what I am using today, uh, putting down this much ink makes the paper kind of buckly. So that's always a thing to ink about. Ugh, shake your hands. This could be fun, especially for those of you who like legit have good hand control, unlike me. I don't, I do not have good hand control. This could be the one for you, you calligraphers. This could be the one for you, the one true nib to win your heart, to win your love. And that is the hunt. I believe it's the 108. If I'm wrong, I'll let y'all know in the description and I'll also link where you can link you link you I'll let you uh, link where you can get your own and that finishes up the candy box I am happy and sad um I'm happy because I that was fun and um I've still got some more nib reviews to do for you guys I've got that Nico set to do on a day-to-day -day basis and then I've also got like a box of labeled Leonard nibs that I said I was going to review and then I think I might have a few more up my sleeve and there's probably probably a majillion tea calligraphy nibs that I could order and review for you guys but I, I kind of feel like in general calligraphy nibs are not super great for me as an inker and if you guys really really want to see me review calligraphy nibs and make a lot of ugly art. I mean, I will, because I love you guys. Um, but you gotta let me know in the comments below. I gotta hear from you. You can't just assume your silence is compliance. I need, I need feedback. I need your love. I need you guys to talk to me because I get heckin' lonely. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make room in the nib 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 box of doom. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe I just should get another nib box, huh, guys? Maybe I should get another nib box. What do you What do you guys think? Should I get another nib box? Um, I kind of like where it's pretty much one nib per space. 
but I could combine to do one. I mean, cause like one nib per space, I can easily pick what I need, but then I need to get another nib box. And then it's like, why do you have so many nib boxes? And it's like, I don't know, I've got a problem. Okay, I've got an addiction. Uh, but you only nib use nibs like once a year in October. Uh, I mean, it's true, but I've got a problem. I don't know, I'll think about it. Um, I probably won't get another nib box though. I will just have to figure out some other edu uh, educational blur, organizational way to organize and keep my nibbage. Um, so, hey, if you guys like dip pin nibs and you've got a better system than this, which is great for looks, uh, let me know in the comments below and I will check it out and I will be grateful because I have a real problem with organization and I could always use tips, tricks and help, especially if it takes up less space. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. That finishes our candy box. Look forward to a uh, teeny tin, teeny little Altoids tin of nibbage coming up soonerly. And then also our Nico five pin settle. So you guys have a great day and I will see you again really soon. Bye.